My first guest is a legendary journalist and broadcaster who really needs no introduction. She's a personal hero of mine. We wake up to the joyful smile and optimistic outlook of Robin Roberts every morning on Good Morning America. And later this week, I cannot believe it, Robin will be celebrating her 20th anniversary on the show. I mean, again, this is live, and I've gone all over time. I remember sitting when they announced her that I was like, yes, Robin, do it, yes. <laughs> that is actually what I did at home. Robin is a household name who's in the business of reporting on some of the biggest stories in the world. But in 2007, she herself became the story when she opened up to all of us about her breast cancer diagnosis, sharing her deeply personal journal journey with the world. Get ready for those tears of sorrow to turn into tears of joy. It may not have happened yet, but it's not over. That was one of Robin Roberts' morning messages and prayers, which she regularly shares to uplift her followers on social media. Robin has always been known for her optimistic outlook on life, and never was that more evident than in 2007, when she made a shocking announcement. I have breast cancer, as my family here knows, my family at home knows, and very, very blessed and thankful that I, I found it early. Robin bravely shared the tough reality of her cancer treatment with viewers, deciding not to wear a wig and accept and embrace her baldness. Robin fought cancer and won, but just five years later, she faced yet another life-threatening health crisis, this time a rare blood disorder that affects the bone marrow. Sometimes treatment for cancer can lead to other serious medical issues, and that's what I'm facing right now. Robin, again bravely, took us with her through treatment. Can't believe I'm doing this again. She would need a life-saving bone marrow transplant, and Robin's sister, Sally Ann, turned out to be the perfect match. It's a great gift. It's a great gift. Thank you, Jesus. Now Robin is facing another challenge publicly, recently revealing that her partner of 17 years, Amber, is battling her own breast cancer. It's my turn now to be there for her as she was for me. From cancer survivor to thriver, Robin has never lost her faith and unwavering optimism. Now in her latest book, Robin shares words of wisdom for keeping life joyful, even when faced with great challenges. Welcome for the first time, Robin Roberts to the table. Oh, shimmy, 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 shimmy. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Oh, 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 thanks my so much. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh. you. Oh. oh, my gosh. Okay. I am crying. Watching oh, all, of, I know. How do you process it when you look back at the journey? I didn't get tear up until the end about Amber. Up and up until that point, when you are the one, the patient going through it, you've got on your armor, yeah. and I'm an athlete at heart, and my doctors are my coach, coaches, and I had a game plan, the chemotherapy, the treatment. When your loved one is going through it, you feel so helpless. And I have been more emotional about her than I was my two times uh, combined. But um, God is good. Ah. And he, um, it's been challenging. Yeah. It has, it's been challenging. That's love, yeah. right? 17 yeah. years. And yeah, I, yes, yeah, <laughs> Lord, yeah, Lord. <laughs> no, but it's true. You know, when you said on um, social, it's my turn now to be there for her like she was yeah. for me. How does she process that you are crying and more emotional watching her? You know what? As much, uh, Tam, you're beautiful. You <laughs> just, I mean, the way you, your emotion and your Tam fam and uh, everything, and I, I haven't talked much about this publicly, but with you, I feel safe. And as much as I am showing her as best I can how to be a patient, she's teaching me how to be a caregiver. Yes. I, I mean, it's been a total role reversal for both of us and eye-opening for both of us, and we're actually helping each other. Everyone keeps saying, oh, you're a big help. She's helping me again yeah. through this. You know, I'll tell you, we did a show not long ago on caregivers, and we said at some point you will be a caregiver or someone will be caring for you. Amen. It's one of our highest rated shows. Oh, I can believe because it. Because we know that at some point 
this will happen to us in our lives in some capacity. Uh, everybody's got something. It's going to happen at one point or the other. And I feel that caregivers, and I'm not, I'm not saying that because now I'm a caregiver, we do not place enough emphasis on, yes, the patient is going through it, and yes, we need to, to put the focus on them. But what people who are caring for others, they don't, they don't have the same resources yeah. as the patient does. Yeah, yeah, it makes it more challenging. Well, one resource, mm. if I might say, is your book. Oh, thank you. Because I'll tell you, first of all, uh, because I'm a Virgo, I notice everything. The fact oh, that it is a, a Virgo. yes, oh, that no. it's a oh, pocket. Lord. I'm Sagittarius. Okay, now come so on. Here we're great. going to the zodiac sign. Like we're at a bar <laughs> in the '70s. <laughs> no. Listen, the pocket-sized nature of this, I was like, this is. This is so strategic because we need this. We need to be able to pull this out of your wallet, pull this out of your bag, and read a little bit of this wisdom. Thank you. I and, love that. And at different times in your life, because uh, people who received an advanced copy, almost everyone picked something different from the book yeah. that resonated with them. Yeah. And that's what I wanted because uh, Journey, our, it's ongoing and it's ever changing. And so there are different aspects. Yeah, I love this like in church. Yes, I hear that. I love Tam Sam. They are good. They pay attention. But no, our, our journey is ever changing. And that's why the book, I'm so glad that people were able to, at different points in their journey, find something. Yes, I'm sharing my path. But what I'm trying to do and what I hope to do is what's your path? Yeah. What are some of the things that I have done that have worked for me? And optimism is one. I love how you always talk about positivity yeah. and optimism. It is contagious. It, it, it is contagious. I mean, you, my, my dad used to always say, you don't see flamingos with penguins for a reason, because we want to be around right, the people right. that bring those qualities to our life. And I'm always attracted to things like, I'm one of those people, I carry the book around, and I'm literally looking through constantly, because there are little bits, little sips mm. of brightness mm. that we need in our life. When you're writing this and you're chronicling your own journey, um, is it exhilarating? Is it intimidating? Is it a relief to be able to be in this position, Robin Roberts, who can help other people? Oh. Because that's not, when we sign up to be journalists, you don't say, okay, I'm going to help people no, in this way. No, you think no. I'm reporting to help. You know that. I mean, we're, we're, we're two peas in a pod when it comes to that. And that, um, we were taught as journalists, you don't make yourself the story. And when I was first diagnosed, well, it really goes back to 2005 with Hurricane Katrina. And I cried like a baby Listen, on, because... It, you were at your family home. Um, this was right after Katrina. You didn't know if your family had survived. I watched it on live TV. Mm -hmm. It unfold. When you learned at that moment that they, I remember crying with you. Mm -hmm. And that was a, a seal that broke. It, but, but you know, I thought I was going to get fired. Because you're not supposed to show emotion. You're not supposed, you're supposed, and right up until that point, I gave the news. Uh, you know, Charlie and Diane, my co host at the time, I just reported what was going on there. And it was Charlie in my ear said, When you left here, you didn't know the condition of your family. Were you able to find them? And that's when I just opened up like that. But what it was, Tam, the way people responded and were so grateful for the authenticity and not trying to put this facade on and like, I'm not touched yes. by what I'm seeing and that. Yes. It really taught me that people want, let's just let yeah. our, our guard down. From my just, perspective. Just, just, yeah, don't be so. I'll tell you, thank you. Watching it at that time, you, for me, went from Robin Roberts to our girl Robin. That's mm, our friend. It, it was a too. momentous change, I believe, as a journalist wondering where I was going to end up in this business, but as a human. Like, you, you transcended the show in this way that's why people turn to a book like this. Well, I appreciate that very much. And I, the, la the last part that you had asked me, there is a, there's a responsibility that goes with having a platform and not to, to shy away from it and to embrace it. And what I really, that, you, I dedicate it yeah. to my tribe. I dedicate it to the people who follow me online and oftentimes, they communicate with one another, just like Tam Fam. Yeah, yeah. They, you know, because sometimes we can't oh, answer Oh, I'm them. in the comment sections looking. Oh, I'm, I'm like, wait, all the inspiration. Wait, so my team is rushing me in my ear because oh. I could talk forever. You're not going anywhere. We're going to go to the mandatory commercial break so we can pay bills. <laughs> but more with Robin and Roberts after the break. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Glam Fam. Good, Good morning. morning. Here we go with the morning message and prayer. And thank you, as always, for being with us.
You know, sometimes we think that God will help us only if we're good enough. But God goes to all the places in our lives. Mm -hmm. That person who hurt you, God is saying, let me in. I'm going to wake up the healing, wake up the restoration, wake up the new beginning. Oh, my gosh. Welcome back all our real healing from guests who have found a way to overcome their challenges and still look at the bright side of life. Still with us is legendary news anchor Robin Roberts. That was a clip, of course, of Robin's morning message and from prayer. From this morning, y'all are good. Y'all are good. This morning. This I'm morning. Scared. Right. I, I actually do. I, I pick up my phone in the morning and I look for your message. You. And it's so beautiful. You talk about being optimistic. It, optimism is a muscle that grows stronger with use. And you say in the book, instead of saying, I'll be more optimistic one day, let's make today our day one. Right here, right yeah. now, let's begin. That's it. Thank you. Because the secret to getting ahead is just getting started. Because how many times do you say, oh, day one, mm. oh, one day, 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 one you just flip it around and say, instead of saying one day, day, day one. one. And the optimism, think about it. Um, I was a state bowling champion when I was 12 years old in Mississippi, okay? <laughs> I didn't just happen, I practiced. Yeah. I got in the habit of you know, rolling, the, rolling that strike. It's the same way with optimism. Why? Anything like that, you just have to get in the habit, and it's my default. Yeah. It just kind of helps me through those difficult times because my automatic default is to try and not see the glass half full or half empty. Just see the doggone glass. Just see the glass. Just yeah. see the glass. You talk, I love this quote also. You say, a wish makes butt prints on the sofa. <laughs> a goal, a goal laces up its sneakers. That's right, laces up and gets I like after it. it. You know, my dear mama, if she had read that about, mama, did you have to say butt? <laughs> did you have to say you know, butt? But it's true, it's true. But it's like when you, I, I'm a big dream. I'm, I dream big, but I focus small. And But it's something about a goal. Yeah. That seems a little bit more, attainable and it's just about just doing the things and surrounding yourself as you have and I have and I've been so blessed to do people I just believe they want to help they yeah. want to lift you up yeah. and I just feel that when you set that goal yeah. you know go for it was Make this it happen your goal for yourself. I mean to be this no. legendary well, figure in television this writer I mean was uh, I know the bowling champion was your goal okay, and you made right. that We'll discuss yeah. that at another <laughs> show. But was this the goal here? This this woman that is sitting in front of me, okay, was this the goal? Okay, first of all, that's the third time you said legendary, and I get chills every time. I don't sure. feel, I mean, you're very kind to say that. I don't, I, I don't, I don't feel that way. It's true. Wikipedia says <laughs> it, too. It's like... <laughs> this it was not on my whiteboard as a child it wasn't something that i aspired to do but leads me to those three answers of prayer from god you know those three answers like you make you you pray like oh god i want and he goes yes that's great mm -hmm. the second prayer is like mm, not yet yeah. the third prayer answer is i have something even better in mind for you yeah. and that's how I, that's how i truly i never ever imagined being on this show, Good Morning America, as long as I have. I didn't believe I was going to be on it from the very beginning, but I'm just, the people, I mean, to come in with Diane Sawyer and Charlie Gibson yeah, yeah. and now to work with Michael and to George and Lara and Ginger. And I the remember staff. when the team was announced because it, yeah. it, they, the big storyline at that time goes, how do we resurrect GMA? Mm -hmm. And then here was this team and people thought, okay, is this... And it turned. And by the way, when, and when so people great. say legendary, even though you're approaching the 20-year mark, that's not what... I believe they mean they mean the greatest edit, right? Mm -hmm. Because legendary, you know, it's not a timestamp because I believe that people can become legendary at doing something in five years, in three years, in 20 years. Thank it you. means you're the best at it. And I do I see you as the best. Thank you. That means a lot. It's true. It's true. And you know what? And you, and you know this. You've worked in morning television also, and there is an intimacy yeah. to your program right here. You're, you know, people. We are so fortunate that they're allowing us not only into their homes, but into their lives. Life, yeah. And it's a responsibility. And it's something I don't take lightly. And every single time I say, good morning, America. <laughs> oh, I just got, oh, I got 20 years later. I got 20 years, Because when I think about it, it's like I'm saying, good morning, Tam. Yeah. You know, I, that's how I look at it. I look at it as, at the individual. But I just, so these two knuckleheads, oh, they are so much fun. <laughs> A big old teddy bear oh, over there. No, he is the and, best. And George, I've worked with him for 13 of those 20 years. 13 of we those years. We have been years. together. Good man. Well, listen. That's my mama. That's a good man. It's a good, That's a good man. man. That's a good man. Well, listen, I know you say good morning, America, but I like the words brighter by the day. Thank you, They Tam. suit you so well. Thank you, Robin. Robin's book, Brighter by the Day, is out now. And... 
the studio audience. Hopefully this will brighten your eyes because all your time with your very own copy of Robin's amazing book. Thank you so much.